Welcome back escapers. We are at the train station in Venice. We are heading to Florence and it takes about two and a half hours. Our train leaves in about half an hour. It leaves at 9.26 and it's direct there. We just decided to get the direct one just because it's easier for us at the moment. It's a little bit more money, but it's just a bit easier. And yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And we'll see you in Florence. Escape with Ted, man. So we just woke up. Very totally. <laughs> It's actually quite nice, we don't have an umbrella now because we're leaving. We're gonna go get some food from a place like this behind us. Uh, probably like a square pizza or something like that. It's really nice though, it's, it's probably the coldest day. And we're gonna catch the water taxi to the train station now. Our train tickets cost 114 euro, which is expensive. We actually went on the better train just because it was the first time we were going on the train. icon means you're in carriage seven so don't forget that we had to move as well and a few other people did and then your ninth seat okay i'm sweaty for a reason uh just had to find this hotel uh we made it as you can see um definitely one of the, the uh, dodgier places that we're staying at like it's just one night um took like half an hour to find from the train station it's not far but it's just not labeled well um, but we're here, <laughs> we've made it. We've got a private bathroom at this place, so this is our room, and then we've got a bathroom. As you walk in, you come through this door, the staircases, and then our door is just over here, number one, and then there's like two and three, and our bathroom's just around the corner. And I'm so sweaty, I had my beanie on, but that was an adventure. <laughs> I feel like I have to be quiet for some reason. So this is our bathroom as well. It's a private external bathroom. Um, we'll see how private it is um, by the end of the night. So we can lock it, so hopefully it's just us. But we'll see what happens. That is our place in Florence. <laughs> it's about to happen. We decided maybe we won't go to Pisa tomorrow because we have to leave our bags. Um, and we thought that was a concierge, that's what they made it seem like. Um, and I don't really want to leave it with the person that we checked in with, not being rude or anything. It's just not the, not the, the I just want to have the peace of mind. Let's just say that. <laughs> I just want to have the peace of mind that the bags will still be okay when we get back. Instead, Rachel's looking up, you can store your bags at the train station for like a couple of euro, put it in a locker. Um, so otherwise, if we can't do that, we will skip Pisa, a lean tower of Pisa, and we'll just head straight to Rome and check in there, which might be the better thing at the moment. I'm going to go explore the sites. We're going to go get some lunch. Uh, Rachel hasn't had any uh, steak or anything like that for a little while because Venice wasn't really known for steak. It is a little bit noisy in this apartment, as you can probably hear. Uh, we're only here for one night. It costs 53 euro plus the, uh, the city tax of eight dollars, which is four euro per person per night. So it's eight euro. So it adds up to 61 euro a night for this place. We have this room and then there's the private um, bathroom that we've shown. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Hopefully everything goes well. We're about to go get some lunch and see some sights. So come along and enjoy the escape. We visited this beautiful cathedral in Florence called the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Flore. There's also a dome on top of this cathedral. It's called Piazza del Uomo. Right next to the big cathedral, you have this wonderful little building called Battistro di San Giovanni, which is the baptistry of St. John. So these golden doors, as you can see, they actually depict the life of St. John, the top 20 panels, and then the lower eight panels depict the virtues of hope, faith, charity, humility, fortitude, temperance, justice, and prudence. I saw our Palazzo Vecchio. Which has the free, um, David, and you can see the David statue. Mm -hmm. So instead of paying the 40 euro to see the other one, we'll show you the free one just at the front door, just there. And a nice little courtyard. So you can have some dinner, lunch, and it's just nice statues. 
Cage got snakes in the grass, no breaks on that. So this is the free Michelangelo statue of David. Just a little tip, look at its hands, because the hands are massive compared to the rest of the body. Just a few minutes stroll from the statue of David, the free one, is Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio is a historic bridge and is an eternal symbol of We just saw the David, uh, the free statue at the square, and we had some lunch. Um, we're only here for one day, pretty much. This is something that we didn't do at first, but when you walk into a shop, just announce yourself, go, hey, you know, like, and just, just make sure that they know that you're there. And then they'll say, oh, what would you like, you know? Whereas sometimes we walked in before and we're just going, and then they'll go, hey, like after a while, and then you're like, oh yeah, I'd like that. Even though they're not serving anyone, they sort of want you to come in and say, hey, I'd like a slice of pizza, yeah, you know? And <laughs> sort of like you own the place. Tomorrow we will go to Rome. I'm not sure what time we'll leave. It depends on our check-in, we'll leave a bit earlier. And it's just easier sort of taking our bags to Pisa and then back and then to Rome. Pisa is towards the coast from Florence. Uh, and we want to go the opposite way, essentially, to Rome. So it just makes the day a lot shorter, a lot easier, and we might be able to do some more stuff in Rome on that day. Okay, feeling better, we got some snacks uh, from the local store. Knew how to put the glove on, and all that stuff. Shown you in the Venice video. If you don't know, put the glove on when you touch the fruit. Um, you definitely have to have a mask on. One thing that is weird in Venice and Italy that we found so far, pretty much, you have to put your masks on on trains and stuff, obviously, and you have to have the P2s. Um, but when they're walking around outside, they don't have masks on. Like, no one has masks on. No one. It's really, like, uncommon to see someone wearing a mask. So, yeah, it's just thought I'd bring that up. Like, looking online, they make it seem like you will be penalized if you don't have masks and stuff. But when you're actually here, I think it's like the whole world. Like, once you're here, you see how it actually is and people aren't following the rules that are set, so just be aware. But you do have to have it on transport, so make sure you do have it. But anyways, we haven't done a bed test yet in this one. This is the Florence Hotel. We're staying for one night, 61 euros. Let's test the bed. And I'm tired. Oh. It's hard not to get a double chin when I do that. <laughs> it's really soft. It's a single. We pushed them together. Um, it's nice. It doesn't have um, a very thick blanket though, so I get a little bit cold tonight, but I'll let you know at two o'clock when I wake up freezing. Yeah, I don't look very good in this angle. Good morning, guys. I'm not sure if you can hear all the noise, but like literally so noisy in this place. <laughs> so noisy. Um, it didn't stop until like three o'clock in the morning. And then every now and then there'd be a car or a motorbike that just ran down the street like like <laughs> like so loud um the glass isn't double glazed or anything like that so you can literally hear people like that were in your room so it's terrible um the windows are closed right now so i don't know if you can hear any of this stuff that's going on but it's so noisy it's like eight o'clock and it's already starting so yeah which is un unusual for europe normally like everything's closed and stuff until like lunchtime that's when europe starts to like get a bit busy but um yeah not the best sleep so we're thankful that we're not going to Pisa today because we're a bit tired already. We're going to head to uh, Rome today. We are checking out of this place at 10 p. Sorry, 10 a.m. And then we're going to the train station. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk. And we have a train, I think it's about 11 o'clock that it will be going. And it goes to Rome. It takes about a couple hours. Um, it's a little bit expensive though. Um, so we're happy that we're not going to Pisa as well because of that price the trains are costing a little bit more than we expected um but other than that all good um happy that we're just staying one night here and we'll see you on the train or in rome uh it's just going to be a bit of a travel day so there might be a little bit of a um lapse of content um the internet was good here though 
except I can't join right now for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm going to try to figure that out. But good morning, and I hope you had a good sleep and enjoyed your rest in Florence. <laughs> We are just in the Florence train station. We are heading to Rome. It takes about three hours on the ticket we brought. It's a cheaper one. It cost about 30, 40 Australian dollars. It was 26 euro, I think. And yeah, so we're gonna catch that. There's no stopovers on this one, thankfully. And we're gonna get into Rome about three o'clock and then we can check into our hotel straight away. And we'll probably go do some shopping for some food. It's a shared kitchen set, shared bathroom in this one. Uh, we're looking forward to a good night's sleep because it was really noisy last night. <laughs> so this is the terminal and you just look here and then you find your train number and then you walk to the, the gate. So we just got this, this guy came down with a cart. I was just like gonna call it Harry Potter. We'll take the lot, but it was six euro for me, so definitely not taking the lot. And Rachel's happy now. Thank you. Okay, so we're like half an hour away from Rome. Uh, I won't film when we're in the train station because there's lots of pickpockets and things like that. So I'll see you when we get to the hotel. We're staying at Myo Max for the three days that we're here. This reminds me of Willy Wonka when you go through like a um, tunnel. The faster we're going, no one times of stunning. <laughs> So we just made it out of the train station, it's just behind us. Um, it's quite big, quite hectic. Um, I didn't film in there just because of pickpocketers and stuff like that. You have to be aware. Um, they, are, they are around, you probably just don't even notice. They do have scams where they try to put bracelets on you as well, especially if you're a girl, and they put it on and then they ask for money. They, you think it's a gift and then they ask for money, so just be careful. But we're heading to our hotel and we'll be there in a sec. This is our room in Rome, Italy. Um, really nice, it only cost about 136 euro plus the city tax of $21 because it's $350 here per person, per night. So it worked out to be €21, Euro, um, which is about $30. Um, it's just the tax that they have in their cities. Um, so you have to pay that when you arrive, normally in cash or sometimes they have card. You had card here, um, so just be aware. So they're not trying to scam you when you do get to a hotel in Italy. Make sure you have the cash ready for the city tax, okay? It feels very safe. Beautiful. Um, you got a key entry at the front, a lift, and then we're on level three. Okay, so we'll put the fan on. Really cool little room. Oh. Let's press the button. So this is the fan control. It's got a little fan above us. Um, three bathrooms and there's four rooms. So even though you're sharing, there's still plenty of room. Uh, it might get busy at like nighttime when you're showering or in the morning, but other than that, easy. This is our bed test in Rome, Italy. We just got here and it looks really good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Really good, actually. This, actually, this bed sheet, I just realized, matches. Oh, so that's cool. <laughs> I can never look good when I'm doing one of these shots. Hopefully my double chin is going down because we're not eating as much. <laughs> there's graffiti in Rome, like there's just graffiti, it's just how it is. But this area is safe, feels really good. Um, and I really like it. The wall is a bit warped, I just noticed. <laughs> but other than that, all good. Um, really nice. It feels like a hostel, but not. Um, and I think for this price in Rome, you really can't go wrong. It's 13 minutes walk from here to the Colosseum. So what more could you want? And the train station's just there, like a 10 minute walk. This is the closet space that you get. Massive, you can put your bag in there, as you can see, massive. <laughs> I'm just going to show you this little setup. So I got my clothes in the bags, the peanut butter, because <laughs> Rachel wanted it, my toiletry bag with Rachel's, and our towels. So how nice is that? Easy. So, so we're just shopping. It's right next to our place. I love shopping in another country. It's so fun. I wonder which room is ours. Da -da room three. <laughs> so that's what we got. We got some cheese, some salami, some mints, some yogurts. Quarters, drinks, 
and there's tomatoes in the back. That costs 24 euro for all that food that's going to feed us for three days. What? Australia is so expensive. Come on, Australia. It's like ridiculous living over here compared to Australia. Like, it's cheaper. It's really cheaper. Like, so this is going to cost us 150 euro. So that's about $180. Um, so let's say $200 with the city tax and everything like that. That is so cheap. So that's $100 for three days, three nights, sorry, for Rachel and I, okay, because we're halving it. And then that was just our groceries, our food. It's $15, roughly. Even if you want to extend it out, $150 for three nights. In Australia, you can't do that. Rent is $400 alone, okay? So it's $200 a week. I know this is just a three days, but literally. And our shopping bills are always like $150. It's just getting ridiculous plus petrol, all those things, literally we're making money. It's, I just, I'm overwhelmed by that price. That was meat and everything like that. Also, word of the day that Rachel said in the shops when we were leaving, really good on Rachel's behalf, arrivederci, which means goodbye. Terrible at these things, I'm learning as well. So Rachel's happy she's going to cook. She likes it, so she's having fun. It's in the shed, so we're getting a little bit quiet. So this was the dinner. I got like a solo drink. It was really nice, really lemony. And that was our night. So we're just pulling up to Roma to Victor, is where we Um So we're the next stop. Uh, end of the line. Oh, I to say it. End of the line. So if my lips are looking really bedazzled right now, I put the airplane lip balm that they gave us on. Tastes a bit funny, but it's a bit like fancy. So thanks for watching guys. I know this one didn't have too much because we actually didn't get to do too much in Florence, but stay tuned. I promise next week's vlog will be jam packed of Rome activities. So make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll see you on the next escape.